Hello my people, it's been quite a while since I posted but I'm back, at least for now. I've spent the last couple of days making a simpler way for you guys to create mod menus. It is available on GitHub and I'll be showing you guys how to use it in this video. Everything will be linked in the description and I'm not joking when I'm saying your menu will be done in minutes, this is a pasters dream. So, let's begin. Start off by going to my GitHub page and downloading the source to the library, will be linked in the description. Also everything you'll see in this video is completely open source if you're wondering. Now, let's create the project. You will be needing a program called Visual Studio 2 so make sure to download that, get the 2022 version. Open Visual Studio and create a new .NET library project. If this doesn't pop up for you then please watch part 2 of my menu series to get that fixed. Name it whatever you want. Also set the .NET version to 4.7.1, it's very important. Now, you need to add the required libs for this to work. Right click on your project then select add then reference. Now you need to locate your local gorilla tag folder. Then select data, after that you want to go into manage. You will need to select every single unity engine library plus the assembly C sharp one. This will take some time to load so be patient. Now do the exact same thing again but this time you will add the BEP in xlibs instead. Extract the, the zip file you downloaded of my GitHub page. Then drop the menu lib folder into the project. Now we will resolve a quite retarded error I made. Just double click the error and remove the colon, not the semicolon though. Open the example class.cs in the downloaded source file and copy over some important code. Make sure to get the loader class right. You can change the name and description of the mod if you want, though remember that the mod GUID cannot contain special characters like space or anything like that. Now type exactly as I type it, we need to override the fixed update method inside the player script to get this to work, I mean you could just get a loop that's ran every frame but this one works the best. It is incredibly important that you name this argument to underscore underscore instance, otherwise this will not work. To test if you've done everything correctly. 
you first need to add a debug.log statement printing whatever you want then you need to build the project and add the created DLL file into the bepinx plugins folder. Now go into Gorilla Tag when you've added the plugin and see what prints in the console. If you do not have the console then you will need to go into the bepinx config file and turn it on. If it started printing what you wanted every frame then you've done it correctly, otherwise rewatch the video and redo. Now, let's get into making the actual menu. Now make two static variables, one called menu and the other one called init. The menu variable will hold our menu's information, for example title and color. Make a if statement inside the forever loop. Everything in this if statement will only be ran once when the game starts, which makes it perfect for initializing things. Set the menu to a new menu object, then pass in the arguments I pass in, this creates the menu. Now add the mandatory menu draw statement, ignore the error you'll get when passing in null, we will fix that soon. Make a new variable called input, it will hold every input from our controller, it uses my fancy input system. Now replace null with the input variable, and as you see, it holds a bunch of useful info, no need to write complicated multi-liners just to get grip input. Now if you were to build this and add it to your plugins folder then it should work, let's test it in game. As you can see it works. You may not be able to see the menu that good but I can assure you that it says vids menu at the top. This was everything for today, tomorrow we will be adding some buttons and a couple of pages, if you can't wait or if you want to try without me guiding you, look at the example class.cs and see how it implemented buttons, it's incredibly easy with my library. See you guys later. Also don't forget to join my discord, link in the description.